Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you probability density functions. Of course, there is a PDF version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one, for each of the following graphs, determine whether there are probability density functions. So first of all, we need to know that for a probability density functions, the area under the curve must be equal to 1. So keep that in mind. So to work it out whether there are probability density functions or not, so we just work out the area under the curve. Okay, so keep that in mind. So let's get into it. So part A. So we know that we can find the area of triangle. So area of this triangle here is a half. We times base and we times height. So the base is four units because from here to here is four units. So we times four and then we times the perpendicular height. So the perpendicular height is this length here, so which is 0 0.5. So times 0 0.5. So we know that a half of four is two and with two times a half is one. So the answer is one. So therefore, it is a probability density functions. So part B. So to work it out whether it is a probability density function or not. So we just work out the area under the curve. And it is a trapezium. So therefore, we can just use trapezium rule to work it out. An area of a trapezium is a half of H bracket A plus B. So keep that in mind. So that will give me a half of h. h is the perpendicular height. So the height is from here to here. So that is 0 0.25. So 0 0.25. And we have a, which is from here to here is a. So that is 4 units. And we add b. b is from here to here. So we know that this is 1. And this is 3. So therefore, the length of this, that is the length of this, which, which is 2 units. So we add 2. So what I do, I can just put down on a calculator. Otherwise, so we know that this add together is 6. So half of 6 is 3. And 3 times 0.25 is 0 0.75. Or 3 quarter, if you like. So it's 3 quarter. So it's not equal to 1. So therefore, this graph is not a probability density functions. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there. I'm back. How did you go? So let me just go through them with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So part A. So we just need to work out the area of a triangle. And if it is equal to 1, so it is a probability density function. Otherwise, it will not be a probability density function. So just let's get into it. So the area of this triangle here, A, is a half. We times the base. So the base here is 8 units. And the height is a quarter. So times a quarter. And we know that half of 8 is 4. And then a 4 times a quarter is 1. So therefore, it is a probability density functions. Part B. So the area of this triangle here is a half with times the perpendicular height, which is the height is this here, so which is 0 0.5. And with times the base, the base is from one unit to nine. So nine minus one is eight. So with times eight. So that would give me, so we can go 0 0.5 times 8 is 4. 
and half of 4 is 2. So therefore, it doesn't equal to 1. So therefore, this graph here is not a probability density functions. And I hope you got it correct. Second question. So we're going backward. The graphs below are probability density functions. Find the exact value of k. So we know that for probability density function graphs, so the area under the curve must be equal to 1. So we just work out the area and we know that the area is equal to 1. So first of all, area of a triangle is a half. We times base and we times the perpendicular height. And we know that the height from here to here, so which is k. And all the ways from here to here is the base, which is 5 units. So we know that the area is 1 because the graph is a probability density function graph. So that must be equal to 1 for the area. Then we go half times base, which is 5, and times the perpendicular height, which is k. And to work this out, so I just times true on both sides because I just want to get rid of the fractions. So it's easier. So I times 2, I times 2. So that half cancel with this 2. So therefore, 1 times 2 is 2. So 2 is equal to 5k. And what I do, I divide by 5 on both sides. So I divide this by 5, and I divide this by 5. So that cancel out. So therefore, k is 2 over 5. So therefore, k, 2 over 5. So there you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through them with you, okay? So part B, so we know that it is a rectangle and the area is equal to 1 because it is a probability density function graph. So let me just write this down. So area of this rectangle here is length, which is from 2 to 9 units. So 9 minus 2 is 7. So the length is 7. And we time the, the width. So that is k. So 7 times k. And we know that area is equal to 1. So 1 is 7 times k. So 7 times k is 7k. So what I do, I divide it by 7 on both sides. Divide by 7. Divide this by 7. So there you go. So therefore, k is 1 over 7. That's it. Hope you got it correct. Now, part C. It is a trapezium. And the area of this trapezium here must equal to 1 because it is a probability density function. So area of a trapezium is a half of h brackets a plus b. That is the rule. So we know that a is equal to 1 and a half times height. Height is the length of this, the perpendicular height. So this is a third. We times a third. And then a is the length of this. So a is, so from 2, to 3 units. So that is 3 minus 2 is 1. So let me just write this down and we add the length of B. B is from 2 all the way to K. Now to work out this length, so we just use K minus 2. So we add K minus 2. So what I do now is I just go a half times a third, that give me 1 6. And this is 1 brackets so we have 1 minus 2, so they give me negative 1. So k minus 1, okay? Keep that in mind. So k minus 1. And to solve this, I times 6 on both sides because I want to get rid of the fractions. So it makes it easier. That's all. So I times 6 and I times 6. So this 6 cancel out. So therefore, 6 is equal to k minus 1. And I move 1 on this side. So that is, this one here, put on this side, becomes plus 1. So 6 plus 1 is 7. Equals 7. So therefore, k is 7. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you got them correct. 
Bye.